second In our pilot to celebrate a splendid achievement made by the Sri Lanka Parliament and the Chinese Embassy hand in hand. During the past four years, at our invitation, most MPs of Sri Lanka have visited China in 11 delegations. On July 14, the last MP delegation has completed their journey to Shanxi and Ningxia of China and returned to Colombo, bringing in a beautiful consultants of this task. I would like to take this opportunity to extend my sincere thanks to Honorable Speaker and all my colleagues from the Parliament for your great efforts to make it happen. The MPs have traveled all along China, from Beijing, Shanghai, to Shenzhen, Guangzhou, from Chengdu, Wuhan, to Kunming, Haikou, from Xi'an, Yinchuan, to Lhasa, six days. You have witnessed the great changes since the establishment of the People's Republic of China 70 years ago, especially after the reform and opening up 40 years ago, and upgraded the economic and social features of Sri Lanka from Norojolai Power Station, Katunanyaka Airport Expressway to the Southern Railway, for the Colombo International Container, Container Terminal, Colombo Port City, to the Hamantota Port, all the mega projects represent our joint efforts and a common goal of bringing in more benefits to our two countries and to the two peoples, and to the long-lasting friendship between China and Sri Lanka. Cheers. Thank you. Relationship between the two countries start with the head of state to head of state, the foreign minister to foreign minister. But after that, there was no, uh, no such close connection. So we thought by developing this parliamentary diplomacy that we should be able to reach the parliament, we should be able to reach members of parliament of all shades, all political shades, and we can also be very useful in the exchange of parliamentarians, in the exchange of staff. So on that basis, uh, we have already 160 members of parliament who have visited China, who have seen the massive development that has taken place in the country during litigation and hardware. Then we also had 32 officials from the Secretary General staff, 32 members of the staff visited China. That was also useful. In addition to that, it was possible for us to send 30 members of the parliamentary media units from newspapers. We spent about uh, 10 days or two weeks there to benefit. So all what we wanted to do was for all of you to see how a country would prosper, how a country would take shape. I, for myself, never believed that we can take a lot of examples from China. So I don't want to talk, talk too much about the old history and all those things and the development that have taken place between China and Sri Lanka industry because that has already been discussed. 